So what is rhetoric? We really didn't know at the start of the class, and then we were just awakened to this idea, this large, confusing, and scary concept. Thank goodness we had Chris to explain rhetoric, just to break it into understandable concepts in cool ways, like components that we can understand. For example, it's important to understand who the audience is and what it means is the varying levels of participation, what the public is for a specific piece of rhetoric. A huge part of this class is looking at the internet and how most of its content is rhetoric that we're just not aware of. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, any part of it. Another component we looked at in the class is the art of persuasion and the different components used to persuade someone to believe an idea that you believe in, but they have to be willing to change their mind. Rhetoric is part of everyone's life, so the definition of rhetoric for me is the persuasive factor in everything we do and everything we see. So where do we see rhetoric? We see it in books, we see it in social media, on the internet, we see it in people and what they say and what they wear, we even see it in what they do, their behavior. What does understanding rhetoric do for us? Knowing these components and breaking it apart into who the audience is, who the rhetor is, what they're trying to achieve, can help us understand before we change our minds of all the... So what can knowing these components of rhetoric help us do? It can help us time when it is the right time and place to make an argument. It can help us with processing what information we should base our opinions on and in marketing and reaching products to a particular customer base, public speaking and reaching an audience, and in teaching where it reaches the classroom. So does this mean we've unlocked all the components of rhetoric there is and we've graduated? Not quite. I don't think so. It actually leaves it more confusing probably than it started, but it's not like learning how to read a map. But just because you know how to read a map doesn't mean you know how to travel everywhere in the world without getting lost. But you can start to travel. Created using Powtoon.